What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be opening up both gold packs that are in the store to see if this hashtag no more packs thing really is the real deal. I'm going to be talking about what football outsiders cards are coming out tomorrow and how you can invest in those cards as well as discussing most feared which may be coming out in only two days. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below if you did like this video, things you want to see me do in the future, as well as if you guys do want me to go on your accounts and open some packs, because honestly, I love opening packs no matter how bad they are, and if you guys want me to open some packs on your account so I can shout you guys out, go ahead and do that. Honestly, I'm not looking for anybody to do that, but if you want to, I'm more than willing to do it. So let's get right into the video. These gold plaques, they contain 10 gold or better players for 100,000 coins. So pretty much what I'm looking for is one elite in each pack. One in 10 golds needs to be an elite or else I'm truly jumping on the no more packs bandwagon and saying that EA really does need to raise the pack odds. So let's get right into this first pack. Here we go, 100,000 coins down the drain. Can we at least get a decent gold? Started off with a Kyle Long, not too good. Hunter Henry, he did just get a Team of the Week card, 83 overall, pretty nice card. All right, Keenan Allen, 82 wide receiver. Demarius Thomas, there we go, that's not a bad pull at all. Not elite, but not bad. Carlos Williams, very bad pull there. James Carpenter, Danny Amendola. I want to hit reveal all here, see what we can pull. And, oh no, you got to be joking. Dante Fowler Jr., Andy Levitre and Logan Ryan. Not a great pack besides the Demarius Thomas and the Keenan Allen. I'm leaning towards that no more packs thing, guys. These packs really are not looking good at all. Let's do this next gold pack, and I need to remember to screenshot this for the thumbnail. Hold on. There we go. Nice screenshot there. Let's open this up. Let's hit open pack on this one. See if that can boost the odds. Let's not go from the back. That didn't work last time. Just checking Joe Hayden. All right, that's not bad. Zach Streif, as soon as I say it's not bad, it starts getting worse. Galette and Eli Manning, our last three. I'm going to do these really fast. Yes, guys. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Come on. Let's go, ja Jack Martin. What am I saying? Zach Martin, 89 overall. Football Outsiders Hero, there we go. Finally, another elite pull. I can't believe this. Maybe these Football Outsiders are increased odds. I don't even know, but there we go. Maybe no more packs. I definitely think they do need to raise these odds, but we finally got a gold pull. All right, I'm so happy about that. I need to screenshot this as well. Sorry about all these screenshots. There we go, 89 overall, Zach Martin. Let's go check his price. And then uh, speaking of football outsiders, new ones are gonna be dropping tomorrow and I'm gonna tell you guys who they are and how you can make some coins. So 89 overall, Zach Martin. Let's check the price, see if we've made our money back on that pack, so football outsiders. Here we go. Guys, if you didn't know, they actually just fixed this in a new patch. So the this team of the week says team of the week players. This football outsiders used to be purely the heroes. I don't think it is anymore. It's not, but it used to be only the heroes and it was really annoying if you wanted to filter down the football out. Just a little thing if you guys didn't know that. Let's go Zach Martin, take a look what his price is sitting at. Oh my goodness, he's expensive. Guys, we just got a 140,000 pull. There we go, that makes up for all those packs, including that Joe Hayden, Demarius Thomas. We made our money back, so. What do you think, guys? Should I keep him or should I sell him? Tell me in the comments down below. But I'm so hyped after that. Let's get right into the Football Outsiders and then talk about some amazing ideas that I think would be absolutely awesome if they implemented in this year's Most Feared and talking about when I think that's going to come out and what you guys should do to prepare. So pretty much tomorrow, what's going to be coming out? Jason McCourty, Tennessee. He is a cornerback, and I'm thinking he's going to be about 80 to 81 overall. Not much investing opportunities there. Second of all, Jermon Bushrod, offensive guard. I'm thinking around 82 to 83 overall, and he might be a decent investment opportunity because obviously, guys, as you know, I praise offensive guards for their ability to be invested in because they do go for a lot. Let's take a look at the price of O guards now. 82 and up, 9,000. They go for about 9,000, so... 
if this guy is dropping for 4,000, 5,000, which they probably will be, I'm going to be just stocking up and I can double my money very easily on him. As well as the other guy, Jonathan Hankins, defensive tackle, who I'm guessing is going to be 83 to 84 overall. Let's say he's 84, which is more likely what he's going to be. He might be elite, but I'm hoping he's gold because that's the best opportunities. Let's take a look at 84 D tackles under 10K. There's one salt. This is the guy that I'm talking about, Clinton McDonald. This guy dropped a couple weeks ago on week four. I bought a lot of him for 7,000 coins, and he now goes for 15,000. So I'm hoping that's very similar to what happens with this Jonathan Hankins. Take a look at that. They go for 14,000, 15,000 coins at the very least defensive tackles. So this is a huge investment opportunity for you guys. The next two ones aren't really great opportunities to make coins, but they're just interesting. We got a wide receiver, Cole Beasley, who I'm guessing is going to be around an 87 overall football outsider. And then the hero is going to be Richie Incognito, another O-guard, who I'm guessing around the same range as Zach Martin, an 89 to 90 overall offensive guard. Now, let's get right into another part of the video, and I did want to talk about most feared. So, as you guys do know, BCA is wrapping up. Take a look at the sets. I think they're almost done. If you guys do want to finish any of these, you better hurry up because they're finishing in just 10 hours. So, if you do want to complete the BCA Master, the Elite Player Upgrade, hurry up and do that. And try to sell off your players, unless you want to just hold on to them for the sake of just having some players because they will be disappearing in 10 hours now even though they are disappearing i don't think they'll be dropping most fear tomorrow and my only reason for that is it's only friday and they never really drop promos on fridays and second of all last year i do believe they dropped it on the 22nd and tomorrow is only the 21st so if they're consistent with last year to go ahead and drop it on the 22nd and we'll have it saturday morning and i will be grinding to get methods videos pack openings for you guys and i am so excited for my most feared and i have some crazy ideas that if they did do these i think it would be so much fun and so cool i might even suggest some of these to ea so first of all this year new to the game brian urlacher now has rights ea can use his player likeness and his card in the game and I feel like most feared is the perfect opportunity to start using Brian Urlacher and drop one of his cards into the game as the most feared master. I can see an awesome 86, not 86, a 96 Brian Urlacher middle linebacker hero or linebacker, depending on what they want to do with it, as the most feared hero, adding two strength and two tackle, and it would be an awesome card to have on your team and i would definitely pick it up no matter what my other ideas are defensive units now as you guys know defensive units go for so much money everybody pretty much has this base gold one right here the super bowl 50 champs this one you get for reaching level 20 so almost everybody has it you can't sell it you can't do anything with it but the other ones on the market the defensive game plan like the full unit 7.5 million coins it's not going to sell for that obviously but they sell for around two and a half to three million coins every single one of them and take a look at what they can do so everybody on san francisco gets plus two agility it completely counters deep attack is six percent on short pass and play action that's a lot of boosts for just one card and what i'm thinking is they could add legendary they could add legendary defensive units that would be so cool for most feared I don't know if you guys remember in the past couple years, they've done keys, they've done stadiums, things like that. I think defensive units would be so cool, and they would represent the most feared NFL defenses of all time. So the ones that specifically I was thinking about, imagine the card art for these. They would be so cool. They would have amazing boosts to the team that they're from, as well as play counters, and they would be an awesome thing to add to your lineup. So the ones that specifically that I was thinking about is the Steel Curtain, obviously, the Steelers, the 85 Bears, the Legion of Boom from a couple years ago. What a card that would be. The Purple People Eaters, the Vikings, the Orange Crush, the Broncos, the Dome Patrol, the Saints Linebacking Corps from a few years ago, regarded as one of the best, if not the best linebacking corps of all time. 
and the Big Blue Wrecking Crew with Lawrence Taylor and the Giants. So, guys, comment down below what you think of these ideas, other defensive units that you think should be included if they did these. I think that this would be an awesome idea. I'm not sure if they're going to do this, but I'm definitely thinking about recommending it to them, as well as getting a conversation going about what players are going to be dropping. What do you guys think the most feared players are going to be for this year? Leave them down below. There's usually like 10 to 15, so just make a couple lists and see what I just want to see what you guys think are going to be in the game because I'm so excited and I know you guys are excited too. If you did enjoy this video, think about subscribing to the channel and liking the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.